enclosure of the viewers comments where I will take a selection of your comments and I will answer questions criticisms or just about you know anything that I might find interesting or think would be valuable in the overarching scenario of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar because as you know or may or may not know this is a correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar oriented vessel the purpose and function of this channel is to teach correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar the grammar mechanics as well as the psychological components there and so that's the reason why i do these and i hope you enjoy welcome to another edition of for the clarity and closure of the viewers comments the first comment comes from colon j hyphen a colon space richardson ric dot 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 now they are a member thank you very much for your membership if they are inclined to create a correct name or a correct sentence structure name on their YouTube channel uh, title, then if J hyphen A is an abbreviation, it would necessarily have to be colon J period hyphen A period and then colon space Richardson space now i don't know what comes after that because the ellipsis is there and it's you know youtube has abbreviated it and cut it off but there would definitely have to be a verb after richardson or a hyphen between richardson and the ric that comes after it again i don't know the whole story so i can't really say but just a little tidbit for you there and again thank you for your membership so here we go i just want you to know that you are way ahead of your time and this is why you are seeing this reflected in the lack of overwhelming support I wish you had overwhelming support I so badly do if I am ever in a position to help you so that you may elevate this platform of learning that is so critical to humanity I will do my best you have my word brother even though you don't know me dot 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 well thank you very much J.A. for those sentiments. I appreciate that. Uh, if you go into it, you know, if you decide to really dive into the, the grammar on the depth that you're very serious about wanting to learn it, and by serious, I mean take serious steps of setting aside hours a day to study it. You know, over 400 videos on this YouTube channel, which I'm sure you're aware of, uh, you can study those or you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a correct grammar workshop. That's, as far as I know, from my position and my volition, that is the fastest way to learn it and the most sure and efficient way to learn it is to have a tutor who knows what it is they're talking about and can guide you through it, boom, 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 like that, which is uh, kind of like a skill, not kind of like, but it is a skill that I have crafted over the last five years hundreds of people uh, I just get better and better at teaching it and um, <laughs> some people may as you may see in some of the comments at the end here some some people may think that that is arrogant speaking but it's not it's actually coming from a place of humility and honor and grace that I have become so proficient at it and that it is so easy for me to convey to individuals all over the earth I think it's a blessing for everyone who wants to learn it now, for those who don't want to learn it, or, or for those who, as we'll call them, you know, want to hate on what it is I'm doing, they don't matter anyways because they have nothing to do with this vessel. Sometimes they try to come aboard, and I have a little fun with them, and then I, I kick them off. But I'm here for the ones that are serious. So you, J.A., if you are absolutely serious about it, go ahead and email me, and we'll set up a 10 to 15-minute video consultation. And I guess the whole point I'm getting at is once you do achieve a rudimentary closure on the grammar then you're going to begin to see you're going to start to see things differently um so like you say it's a platform of learning that is so critical to humanity i don't know that i would agree with that statement what is critical to humanity i'm not i i mean i am one 
human, I'm one man, yes, but as to the rest of my fellow mankind, I'm not so, uh, I'm not in a position to say what's best for them or what's critical to them. That's their choice. And that's a hard lesson I had to learn when going through this correct sentence structure gauntlet, so to speak, is to, to assume what someone else needs in, in a very basic, very blunt sense is a trespass. Now, of course, I mean, you can see someone who's, who's skin and bones and, and they're dirty and they're, you can see they're homeless and things like that and they need help. Okay, well, you can assume they need help. Yes, yes, you can. And you can try to help them. You can offer them help if that's what you feel in your heart you want to do. But if you see someone like an everyday person walking down the street and they're just happy in their own little world, and then you come at them and say, you know, you need to learn this correct sentence structure. It's critical to humanity. It's not going to go so well because now you're trespassing. The best analogy I can use is someone who's sleeping and you go in and you try and wake them up before they're ready to wake up. They're not going to react in a positive way. More than likely, they are going to be angry at you. So therefore, J.A., to bring this long dissertation to an end, I would say, if you're going to learn correct sentence structure, I highly recommend paying attention to this, what I call the psychology of it. And be very careful not to try and think what other people want or what other people need. Instead, concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on yourself. Get yourself in order. Get yourself uh, closure on the grammar. Get yourself closure on all the mechanics and connect the peripheral mechanics to having to do with the grammar. And then once you get those things in place, exponentially that will radiate outward and you will attract like-minded individuals who want to be a part of that. You will also repel the people who don't want to be a part of that. And you may be surprised at what that entails. Some of your closest family and friends will... Uh, will probably be a part of that. Next comment comes from J.A. also. It is you that is doing such a fantastic job, and I have referred people to your channel to learn these are some very influential people, and things are moving slower. Things are moving slower than I would like, but I recognize you as being a teacher and a leader, and the leader and somebody who will help to bring humanity out of the darkness Please understand your name holds a lot of weight in the spiritual realm. I'm very proud of you. Well, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate the sentiment behind that. Again, I refer you back to the kuleana I offer you for your last comment. Um, when you say influential people, I have to guess that you mean people that you think are perhaps famous or have a lot of celebrity or public status. That's the only thing I can think of that you're, you're talking about there. Uh, as far as being a teacher, of course, I am a teacher. I own that 100%. I am a correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar teacher. As far as a leader, no, that is not something that I have a volition to be. Because I don't... In the, in the literal sense that you're referring to it right here, I am not a leader because I do not crave followers. I don't crave, I don't have, I don't, there are other people out there who are more than happy to take that position. And I think you know who I'm talking about. People who want to be looked up to, who need to have that ego feeding taking place. They need to have followers. They need to have people be subservient to them and to submit to their authority and whatever. I, I'm not one of those people. I think of myself as a guide. If you would like me to guide you to closure on correct sentence structure, I'm more than happy to help you. But I have no volition to be a leader of any sort because I think that people are much more powerful and potent when they lead themselves, when they become autonomous themselves and they take accountability over themselves and they stop looking to other people to lead them. That's the, uh, that's the methodology behind what I do. And it's, been that way since day one. It's been, as you just said there, it's slow going. Yes, it is slow going because not very many people are into that. 
too many people want to participate with an authoritarian structure. They want to have a leader. They want to be a follower. I don't want any part of that. I want to communicate in contract with people who are their own authority, who don't need leaders, that they are their own leaders of their own constructs. And then we can come together on a geometric level playing field, contract and do great things. So that, that's pretty much my volition. As far as my name holds a lot of weight in the spiritual realm, I don't, um, yeah, I don't really, I'm more of a practical minded individual. Uh, my 50 years on this earth, I have, let's put it this way, I participate with facts, with things that I can certify, not with things that cannot be certified. And that's that. Thank you for your comment and your membership. Again, I appreciate it. Next comment comes from Digital Securities. And they say, for the knowledge of this man, David, so, and okay, so that's a name, of the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, performance, equals CSS, CPS, GP, is with the duty to. Okay, so... This is an interesting sentence here. I have to, I think this individual, I think I gave them Kuliana in another comment, and I think they admitted to being a beginner because they definitely, uh, this is definitely not correct sentence structure. Uh, it's a great attempt at it, however, but I'm just gonna go through and, and mention a couple things to use it as a knowledge cultivation tool. So you see here you have for the knowledge, which would be the cause, and then the concern would be this name. Now you see, lowercase d, lowercase s in the name. That is not correct because the d would have to be capitalized and the s would have to be capitalized under rule one rule equal maintenance. Now we have of this man and then we have a colon. That is not correct because every correct sentence structure must start with a cause, a concern, you draw your straight line, then you drop your verb in. This is the mathematic part of the mathematical interface. If you have more than two position loadio fact phrases, you break the mathematical interface and it's no longer correct sentence structure. It is void of correctness. So you must have two points, straight line verb, for the facts, of the facts, verb, so on and so forth. So that is not correct here because you have more than two position loadio fact phrases in front of the verb. And then you have this uh, equal sign here. And then you have CSS. So if I were to syntax this whole thing here from correct all the way down to P period, that would be a compound adjective. Because this is not correct sentence structure. This is adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun because of the things that I mentioned before. But we have the, which is an adverb. And then we have this whole term here because there's no space on either side of the equal sign. And there's no space between any of these hieroglyphs. So that's to be taken as one term. So it's one tangible contract adjective, and then is would be tangible contract adjective, and then with would be non-tangible contract pronoun, and then the would be non-tangible contract adverb, and so on and so forth. So we have with the duty to. Now, what is this to? Stop and correct. It looks as though digital securities is trying to use to as a positional, but there's no lodial, so... That is definitely not correct, not only because of those things, but also because it's future tense. And we don't use past tense and future tense in correct sentence structure. So we stop and correct the fictitious conveyance of language, false, and of the misleading statements by this federal postmaster. So digital securities, whoever that is, is claiming to be a federal postmaster and if you go backwards, the feder it says for this federal postmaster with the fictitious conveyance of language. So we know that's not correct. Uh, but the federal postmaster is the one making the fictitious conveyance of, of language. And they're also making false and misleading statements. So this federal postmaster in this comment is admitting to a fictitious conveyance of language and making false and misleading statements. So you can see how important it is to have the mathematical interface in place in your sentence and have all your T's crossed and your I's dotted.
Hope you enjoyed this lesson, Digital Securities. Again, if you want to contact me to apply for a Correct Grammar Workshop, you got the email address down here. Go ahead and shoot me an email. Thank you for your comment. Next comment comes from Colon Christos, and they are a member. Thank you for your membership, Christos. Thank you, Jason, for this mini class. Only you do that. Only you do that. You give so many information for the correct quantum grammar. Only you do that. You give so many information for the. Well, thank you very much for your sentiment there, uh, Christos. Uh, I appreciate that. And I, I agree with you. I don't see anyone else out there on YouTube doing this stuff, much less putting it out there for the public to study and much less doing live streams. And quite frankly, I think it's because they're scared. That's a guess, though. Next comment comes from longtime viewer Dylan's voice. Say, ha, that was pretty funny. We can't prove a non-existence. Lol. We cannot know the unknowable. It has to be knowable first. True. And he says, thanks. Interesting. So there is no correct claim for the flag anywhere in the world as far as you know. The military don't have one. Well, Dylan, I guess if you wanted to know if the military had a correct claim on the flag, you would have to ask the military, wouldn't you? Now, I don't really see how that could work, being that that flag represents peace and neutrality. I'm not sure the military represents peace and neutrality, but that's, a, that's something you'd have to take up with them, I guess. And yes, I'll continue learning the grammar. I won't be using that flag for now, then, lol. I have to have full command of the grammar, as you say, and personal cognition closure. Cheers. That is 100% correct, Dylan's voice. You must have closure on the grammar and able to be able to use that flag safely. Because in the end, you either stand on your own two feet or you fall down. And you're the only one that would be to credit or to blame for it. Um, if you bow down to someone else and use their construct and then you fail, well, then the only difference is you can blame it on them. Or you can give them credit if you succeed. Which would you rather have? Next comment comes from Ian O.M., another member. Thank you very much, Ian. I appreciate it. One and one not being two, but instead one is a fascinating to me. It goes against my natural interpretation, but I can see how it also makes sense. Well, if you use uh, magnetic, what do you call them? Field magnetic mechanics, something like that. In other words, if you have two magnetic fields, you have one magnetic field, one magnetic field, and you bring those magnetic fields together, how many magnetic fields do you have? Another comment from ENOM. Russell is a jerk who had David physically assaulted just to falsely inherit the flag. I used to look up to him with great respect, but after hearing his confession, I was, and then there's a vulgarity there, commenting to remind the algorithm that Jason knows what is up, and I'm glad we have a true teacher among us, amongst us. Thank you, Ian, for those kind words. Um, here's a little psychological lesson for you, my friend. You never, ever hear me say that someone's a jerk. Or I don't make it personal for the most part. I try really hard not to. What I do is I audit grammar and performances. Now, I have called people liars when I can prove that they have lied, such as the, uh, what's her name, Muriel Meta Biggs, right? And also Russell as well, because Russell on his own website is claiming that I Colin Jason Ivan Matthew Golden Glass and someone else named Klaus Winter. I mean, that's just a flat out lie. And until someone can pull up I, I really don't know where anyone would get that idea. I really don't. I can't find it. In the over four hundred videos on this YouTube channel, you would think that there would be some inkling in there 
of where they got this idea, this this little tidbit that they're clinging on to and that they felt was important enough to put on their little website. But if you notice, the list of people that Russell has disqualified or slandered just grows by the day. It's hilarious. And it's basically a list of people who don't want to kiss his butt. That's basically what it is. So anyways, I I just wanted to point that out to you that it's advisable to just concentrate on the facts and the grammar rather than your personal feelings towards someone. Because that just gets you into waters that the fiction loves to exploit. And you say, David, uh, he had David physically assaulted. Well, by his claim, Russell assaulted David. He didn't have him assaulted. He assaulted him. Russell assaulted David. That's what he said. I used to look up him with great respect. Yes, I did too once before. Before I learned the whole story. And also before I had personal interaction with him. So... I hope that helps you on your journey, Ian. Next comment comes from Judy. And they say, I do understand where Mark is coming from. It doesn't happen to all, but there are various issues with YouTube. The more subscribers you have, the less they will bother you. Well, that's not true because Mark had way more subscribers than me. And YouTube bothered him enough to kick him off of YouTube. However, I do know some faith channels who did the same thing Mark did. Well, yeah, if by faith channels you mean channels that promoted things that you cannot certify and they don't provide evidence of their claims, well, obviously, yeah, it's the same thing Mark did. It's promoting uh, BS for the most part. You are entitled to your opinion. It doesn't make it facts. Well, that is correct, and I make it quite clear in the video, if you look at the video that they are responding to, I make it quite clear in the video that I'm sharing an opinion. I'm not claiming that it's a fact. I'm claiming an opinion. I say it several times in the video. So um, thank you for pointing out that glaringly obvious uh, position. Don't put words in other people's mouths. It makes you immature and unreliable. Oh, really? Here we go. That's that's really cool right there. That's a good example of correct sentence structure uh, psychology. This individual just by that statement alone, does not have closure on correct sentence structure, probably doesn't even know the first thing about it. I can say that. As a tutor, doing this for five years, knowing people that make those types of comments have no clue what correct sentence structure is. They have no clue. They buy into, or tend to buy into, the fictional fairy tales that people like Mark Lowercase K promote. So I guess my response to that one would be, what words did I put in someone's mouth? I don't ever remember doing that. If you could leave a timestamp, Judy, to show me where I did that, I'd be more than happy to check it out. And as far as immaturity and unreliability, um, I mean, of course, you're entitled to your opinion. Uh, (laughs) Actually, it's almost, you know, from the tone and demeanor and content of your comment, it sounds like you're talking about yourself. He does give information. He doesn't have to teach to inform. You don't have to teach to inform. Hmm. That's an interesting concept. The information he gives is good. That's an opinion. Maybe you are a good grammar teacher. Maybe. You don't know if he cannot syntax. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I stand by that. Judy, show me proof that he can syntax. Show me. In a video where this guy syntaxes a complete sentence in real time. Show me. And gives closure to the values he banks. Show me. Because I can't find it and I've looked. If he can, you just gave misinformation. (laughs) Thank you for your comment, Judy. That was uh, very entertaining. And the final comment comes from Dr. Grace Good whatever. Why are those who know the how all apparently so impatient and almost arrogant? Well, that's an interesting psychological condition of state. I did give feedback to this comment, but I did it in a cheeky way, and you can check that out. 
uh, on the YouTube channel if you if you're so inclined. But I'll give a more eloquent Kuliana here in this video. I have to think that when I was learning this grammar or when I would learn other topics that yes a lot of the teachers did seem to be arrogant and impatient in a lot of ways <clears throat> but I later found out that if a teacher becomes impatient it's usually because they're being questioned too deeply and they don't have closure on what it is they're talking about and so they get uncomfortable with it and then they get impatient and then a lot of times they will try and flip it back around on the student and make it the student's fault that they don't <laughs> they don't know the answer that's just one example that i can think of as far as myself i don't think i'm not one to say whether i'm arrogant or not arrogant i can definitely say i'm not impatient i'm definitely patient I feel like that's one of my strengths um, and other people have told me that I'm very patient with teaching people because I teach people of all different levels whether you're beginner intermediate or advanced it doesn't matter to me if you're there to learn I have the patience to teach you as long as it takes you uh, to learn it but arrogant I don't know I'm not I can't be one to to make that judgment upon myself I guess others would have to do that if I had to hazard a guess, I would guess and hope that I'm not arrogant. Perhaps the confidence in which I relay the knowledge could be misconstrued as arrogance, but I certainly hope that I'm not that. Uh, I try really hard to maintain humility the only time that that is off the table is when people violate the terms and conditions of my vessel, meaning they don't comply with the balance of the honor and the grace, the maintenance of the rule, one rule equal, and the position of peace and neutrality. If, in other words, if someone comes on trolling me, well, then usually I'll give back the energy that I'm getting. Uh, but that's the, the video they're commenting on actually has to do with the claim of the Live Life mini class that I did. And it really puzzles me that they would say that. And as I responded to in the in the comments field, it, it could also be an instance of, you know, when you're in school and you have those students, those fellow students who are just scholastically way ahead of the rest of the class, or maybe, you know, you're in sports and you have certain athletes who are way more physically uh, gifted than the others. And it just draws hate from people. And so they try to find things to criticize about those exceptional players and those exceptional students. Mm, he reads books, mm, you know, or they find something wrong or he's arrogant, you know. They just find something to nitpick at because they don't have anything else. Uh, and they're jealous, basically. But that that's not necessarily the case here. Uh, it's just a guess. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope I was able to cultivate a little bit of knowledge on here and maybe bring a smile to your face. If you're interested in learning correct sentence structure, again, you can contact me at the email address at the uh, bottom of your screen here, and uh, I'll get back to you and schedule a 10 to 15 minute video consultation, and you and I can talk face to face and find out if this is something you're, you're ready to learn. If not, there are over 400 videos on this channel that you can study. If you decide to become a member and you look at this uh, join button up here and you click it, there are two tiers you can choose from. The first tier is just for people that want to support my work, which I very much appreciate. And the second tier is for those who want to contribute to the channel and also for those who want to watch exclusive content every single week. Members only content that's not available to the public. But never fear public, there are over 400 videos here for you individuals that prefer freebies. It's all here for you, the sum total of my correct sentence structure knowledge. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.